If you have questions, you can find answers at thereareanswers.com. Subscribe, like, and share the video as we journey through the Bible five minutes at a time. Now let's take a look at the return of the exile. The Exile of the Kingdom of Israel Also known as the Ten Lost Tribes, occurred in 722 BC, when the Assyrians conquered the northern kingdom of Israel and deported many Jews to Assyria and other parts of the empire. These tribes assimilated into other cultures and were lost to history. The exile of the Kingdom of Judah occurred in 586 BC, when the Babylonians, led by King Nebuchadnezzar, conquered Jerusalem and destroyed the first temple. The Babylonians then deported a significant portion of the population, including the royal family and the educated elite, to Babylon. This event is known as the Babylonian Captivity, or the Babylonian Exile. During the time of the exile, several books of the Hebrew Bible were written or compiled. These books provide insight into the experiences of the Jewish people during the Babylonian captivity, and the period of rebuilding that followed. Some of these books include, the Book of Jeremiah, and the Book of Ezekiel, both warn the people of Israel and Judah about the coming destruction, and urge them to repent. Ezekiel also spent time preaching to them during their captivity. The Book of Lamentations A collection of mournful poems lamenting the destruction of Jerusalem and the suffering of the people. The Book of Daniel He was a Jewish exile who became an advisor to the Babylonian king. Daniel was betrayed and thrown into the lion's den when he refused to not worship God. God protected him from the lions, as he protected his friends from the furnace, and they were delivered by God. The book of Daniel also contains detailed apocalyptic visions of the end times. The book of Chronicles. A history of the Jewish people from the creation of the world to the Babylonian exile. With a focus on the reigns of David and Solomon, and the rebuilding of the temple. These books reflect the experiences of the Jewish people during the exile, and provide insight into their religious and cultural practices during this time. The return of the Jews from Babylonian exile began in 538 BC, when the Persian king Cyrus issued a decree, allowing the Jews to return to their homeland and rebuild their temple. The return was led by the Jewish leader Zerubbabel, who was appointed as governor of Judah by Cyrus. A significant number of Jewish exiles returned to Jerusalem, and began the process of rebuilding their community and the temple. This period is known as the Second Temple Period, which lasted from approximately 539 BC to 70 AD. During this time, the Jewish community faced many challenges, including the ongoing threat of foreign domination, and the need to establish a religious and social order in a rapidly changing world. Despite these challenges, the Jewish people were able to rebuild their community, re-establish their religious practices, and develop a rich body of literature and tradition. Some of the significant developments during this period include The exiles who returned to Jerusalem began the process of rebuilding the temple in 520 BC, which was completed in 515 BC. They began to define themselves based on their religious practices and traditions rather than their political status or nationality. Jewish scholars during the Second Temple period produced a rich body of literature, including the Hebrew Bible, Apocrypha, and Dead Sea Scrolls, as well as the Talmud, a central text of Jewish law and ethics. The Jewish community was organized around religious and social institutions. Schools and courts emerged as important institutions that helped maintain Jewish identity and culture. The Jewish people placed great importance on their religious practices. They developed new practices, such as the synagogue, which emerged as a place for communal prayer and study. They were not a monolithic group during this period, and different groups emerged, such as the Pharisees, Sadducees, and Essenes. These groups had different interpretations of Jewish law and theology and practiced their own unique traditions. The Jewish people were ruled by various foreign powers during the Second Temple period, including the Persians, Greeks, and Romans. They established dispersed communities and synagogues outside of Israel, 
such as in Egypt, Mesopotamia, and Rome. These communities maintained close ties with Israel and developed their own unique cultural practices. Overall, Jewish culture during the Second Temple period was characterized by a deep commitment to religious practices and scholarship. The Jewish people maintained their distinct cultural identity, even in the face of foreign rule and influence, and developed a rich body of literature and tradition that continues to shape Jewish culture to this day. One message that we have seen over and over again in our journey through the Bible, is that God is faithful. We have seen individuals and nations turn away from God time after time, yet he has never left or forsaken his people. He sent a boat during the flood, a Moses during captivity, judges and kings to build a nation, and ultimately a son to bring salvation. God loves you more than you can ever imagine. If you have more questions, you can find answers at thereareanswers.com. Stay tuned for the next video as the world gets ready for our Messiah, our King of Kings.